Hello there, my name is Chris from Blast Process and this is Kerbal Space Program Episode 6. This is a space plane once again. The last episode didn't start off very well with my last space plane, but this one's different. This one isn't going to be part of the Duna Mothership, this one is simply taking some crew up. This one though is a single stage to orbit space plane. That means every single thing you see here on the runway is going to get into space. Not one piece will be left behind. Nothing will be destaged. I'm not going to need to refuel or anything. The whole thing is just going to get up there. So let's get a bit of light. So I've had to start in the dark because this is the point where I'm going to be able to intersect without having to make too many orbits. So let us start. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip this bit, because it's going to be boring, it's got a couple of minutes long, it's just going to climb up to 20,000 metres, so I will be back once that is done. As you can see, I'm actually getting re-entry effects, even though I'm technically I've not left, so it's not really a re-entry, it's a um, shock heating, or whatever you call it, because I'm going so fast in the atmosphere. Probably too fast actually. I should uh, try and climb a little bit more. The goal is to burn off as much jet fuel as I can to uh, save weight. But the engines will actually stop working after a certain amount of time, so because of the. They'll only, they have a certain amount of power they can reach. They actually are losing thrust now. I think it's the uh, the air pressure. As you can see, I'm going to throttle down now. The intake air is dropping now to the point where cutoff's about to be. Just passing 27. And I'm nearly at 1400 meters a second. I'll activate the uh, main engine now. And the jets are gone. Close intakes and throttle up. Probably should have stayed level a bit more, and picked a bit more speed, but I think this is good enough. The idea is this needs to stay ahead of me, which it's doing. It's actually increasing in distance, that's good. So, probably bring the nose down a little bit. 45, yeah, okay. So, that's good. So now it's just a matter of hoping my uh, fuel will get me into orbit. Anything over 70 will do. I'd legally I'd like to get to about 80 or 90. Seventy. Okay, so that's good. Just let it keep going now. Let's bring it all up to a hundred. I think a hundred. And there it goes. Done. 103 by 100. Perfect orbit. Pitch black, as usual. So there's the mothership. It's right in front of me, which is where I want it to be. So set its target. And I will uh, gate an encounter. 
So I've got an encounter, it only took me about a quarter of an orbit, give or take. A couple of seconds burn, and then probably a couple of seconds again on the other side. And it should fire it. 1.7 kilometers. So that's good enough. So I um let's go back. There it is, 1.3 kilometers away. That's about as close as I can expect to get. Let's get rid of the rest of my speed. Let's get it down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Close enough. Let's approach it now. I've got lights, but they are landing lights, so they're pointing down and forward at an angle. But I'm uh, very used to landing, uh, docking in the dark now, even though it doesn't make very good YouTube videos. So, let's go to docking mode. RCS on. It, oh, the sun has come up. Beautiful. I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing. Ah, now. The question. Where is a free docking port on this? There's one there. Right in between. The, uh, oh dear. It is right in between the solar panels. I may have to retract the solar panels. I will uh, see once I get closer. Oh, my SCS view, why is it doing that? lined up. Oh, there we go. So the lights are doing a bit. Ooh. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> Nearly didn't get that. I'm going to just miss everything. It's going in. I've got it. And I'm dark. Perfect. With uh, inches to spare. Could have got a bus in that gap. Right, so I'm going to... Oh, wow. Down to 16 frames a second. I'm going to uh, transfer some crew across. Uh, the fuel, for the record. Uh, where's my fuel on board? Okay. I can't tell. So, I've not got a huge amount of fuel. It seems to be drawing through here. I wonder if I can... Disable cross. There we go. So there's the fuel. It just comes up to the eye in liquid. So uh, I've probably got enough to deorbit. I'm hoping this thing is uh, gonna be stable in the atmosphere when they're coming for a landing. So uh, I think who will come back? I think I'll, Munsky and Looney can uh, be honoured with a trip to Duna. Everyone else can come back. I'll be back when I'm ready. So I've transferred the uh, crew across. There's just one guy left on board. If I can hide the hatch. There he is. Kelman Kerman is he staying aboard. We'll undock this. Um, switch to it. And then back away. Perfect. Close this. Oh, close shield. And we are going to set up a point. I want to actually come back down to land at my base. I think just below 40 for a periapsis is probably a good number. Thirty-nine in a little bit. 
let's get down to 39. So, yeah, okay, whatever. Right, so, what I'm going to do. Oops, wrong button. Let's get ourselves pointing in the correct direction. And uh, just accelerate on two minutes. It's probably only going to take a couple of seconds, this burn. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to hit the uh, mothership. Okay, I just noticed that my uh, sound was muted. So I'm back to normal now. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's keep burning. Overshoot that. 36. Okay, I may have overshot it a bit, but that's not that bad. We're coming in, dropping to 30,000 meters. This is the continent. The space center is on the other coast. And we're getting entry effects. So we should start slow down hugely now. I hope this might be. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna reach it, but I do have engines and I can still glide. Um I've transferred a little bit of fuel forward from the back tank. I've, everything is in there and then I've got a little bit in each of the side tanks. So I do have engine oh I can put my I'll turn them on after. I've deactivated my air intakes to um make myself a little bit more aerodynamic. But uh, at the moment I don't want to activate them yet. I'll do that one time. I could activate them actually. It might slow me down a bit more, but I don't want to slow down any further than I already am. I'm also going to be slightly off centre, but that's not a problem. Still uh, nose down, but we're coming up again, right? I think we're pretty much centred. That's my uh, mobile space centre. It's there, if any, if purely it's there as a marker, because every time you do a launch, you don't always leave debris on the runway. I got my engines. I turned them off. They didn't activate themselves. In fact, what I'm going to do. I have a uh, joystick set up. It's so much easier than using the uh, the keys, especially seen as the roll keys are not the correct. It's okay for flying play, um, spaceships, but the roll keys are not in the. You want to you want you need your roll rather than your. I think it's your yeah. So let's see. There we are. Okay, so I'm actually. Speed up time again. I'm still far, far away. 14 kilometers. I think this is part of this end of the runway, which I think is just starting to appear. One of the later patches did add lights to the runway, but uh, they obviously don't work at this range. I think the range where objects, of, although I can see the buildings, which is odd. I know where um, the ship don't render in until I think three kilometers or something like that um, so maybe the lights don't render until that point because the, the roads and the buildings are clearly uh, different wow it's very twitchy on this joystick probably need to turn the sensitivity down a little bit how are we doing? 100 meters per second. Let's turn the throttle down a little bit more. I used a little bit of the fuel. I could have glided most of the way, to be honest. Oh, there's the lights. So yeah, I mean, it's it's perhaps a little bit nose heavy, but other than that, it's pretty well balanced. I've not tried doing any major manoeuvres with it. I might uh, buzz the tower once I've uh, successfully landed. So, coming in. 
Yes, the lights haven't appeared. I know they're there. Maybe these don't produce light. Maybe I should. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there they are. Engines off. And I'm down. Brakes, 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 brakes. Perfect landing. I'm absolutely certain I don't have enough fuel to get back into space, <laughs> but I'm down. What I'm going to do. In fact, do you know what? See how well it flies with no fuel. Because I've not really tested this. I know it can, uh, how many real will it is. On a um, full fuel. When it's, because I just built it around it being balanced. Say <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> so I don't need that much power. Let's buzz the tower without crashing. Hopefully. Oh, that's close. Hello, people in tower. Technically, I don't think that is the control tower, that's the vehicle assembly building. Probably like the real NASA, the control tower is probably in another city somewhere. Oh, it's not a really control tower, it's a control room. Right, let's land again. <laughs> now that I've got that out of my system. Pity there's no chase cam when you're in the atmosphere. Or oh, if there is, I uh, don't know about it. You have to kind of keep moving the mouse about with one hand. Oh, I'm coming a lot quicker than I was last time. But I might need the whole runway for this one. Let's try and touch down a bit sooner. Break. And again, for a second time. We are on the ground. So yeah, quite a well designed plane this actually. It's not particularly beautiful looking, although I don't know, I quite like the uh, the, the wing design on it. Oh, elegant as usual. I don't even know why I've ever put in ladders on. Yay. So, that was my uh, single stage space plane, 100% reusable, although it will need refueling if I want to use it again, but that's not a problem. I might build a fueling truck actually, because it will dock. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, likes and subscribes would be very much appreciated, and until next time, goodbye.